Welcome back, everybody. Today, what I want to go over is something I get asked about a lot. You know, we, we in this market, we're looking for these red to green moves. And I get asked, you know, uh, how, do you, how do you spot these for potential trades? And I'm going to go over a couple different techniques and uh, we'll kind of go from there on how I use the red to green scanner. So number one, you know, I don't, for lack of a better term, I don't care about any stock that is going red to green on the day because it could be a very low volume stock. It could be a very low price stock. Maybe it's a hundredth of a penny stock. I don't, I don't care if that hundredth of a penny of a stock is going green on the day. I also don't care if a $400 stock is going green on the day or any particular low low volume stock that might just be bouncing around, I don't want to see those alerts. My strategy, my process that I talk about every day in Stocks to Trade Pro is really boils down to KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, you know, <clears throat> focus on the minimum amount of stocks you can and the minimum amount of setups that work for you. So the way I do that is with the red to green scanner, based on my watch list because primarily the types of stocks I want to trade on a red to green move are big runners from yesterday, big runners from the day before, big runners from last week. So I'm going to have all of these stocks in my watch list because they ran big yesterday. They're on, they're on my radar. I've done my research I know why the stock's moving. Maybe it's blockchain related. Maybe it's marijuana related. It's not just a random out of the blue stock. So how I, actually I'll start with giving you an example and then I'll show you how to do it. So you can see here, I've got my watch list of these stocks. All of them are red today. Um, and I'm looking for any of these to go red to green. Now I did record this midday. So there isn't a, it's not like there's a ton of action going on right here, but you'll see what I'm looking for. T-E-U-M, blockchain related, nonstop press releases. Let me back that up. Notice I have no results. So I've got this screener running in one of my monitors and I'm always watching it. So anytime a stock pops in there, I know already because of yesterday, day before, whatever, I already know this is a stock I want to potentially trade. I don't care about randomness. I want stocks that I already are on my radar and I'm prepared to trade if they do what I want. So now you'll see TEUM notice is red. It now goes neutral. Basically it's at the unchanged level pops into my screener here in a second. You'll see it ticks green right there. Then it goes back red drops off the list. So now again, you got you to be ready. You got to be watching all your monitors. But I know now that TEUM, a blockchain related stock, a heavily shorted stock, a stock that's been running in the past, went green on the day. That is, in my opinion, the best way to accomplish this. Now, let me show you how. What I'm going to do is create a price data criteria based on the last price, right? And let me zoom in here. So my last price... I add my screener block and then I'm going over to my criteria, my parameters, and I'm going to a conditional or, or I'm sorry, a criteria. And then I'm going to the previous day close and then I want it to be greater than or equal to. Now, what you can do and normally what I do, the problem was when I did this video, nothing was going red to green and I needed a clip to show you. Normally, I will do greater than say five cents, two cents, three cents. That way I know it's not like TEUM. It just, I mean, it went, it went green for like one second, but I wanted an example to show you. So what I would normally do is I'd be running that previous day close and the change by say five cents or more. So now you can see if the last price is greater than or equal to the previous day close, 
buy five cents or more, then trigger me. So then I do a save. I save this as my red to green scan. Then I go over to my eyeball here. Let me zoom in. And then I pick the watch list of the day. I use five day rolling watch lists. Now I could choose multiples too. That's the beauty of this is any of my watch lists, what I do when I talk about this a lot in Stocks Trade Pro, I keep a five day rolling watch list. So I always have a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I can select as many of the watch lists or as few. For this example today, I just had today's watch list Thursday. So again, maybe, maybe you wanna select all of your watch lists, but that is what I recommend is, you know, to me, a red to green scanner for any stock that's going red to green is completely, well, not worthless, but you're going to be overwhelmed. I say focus on stocks you're familiar with that you already know you want to trade. And the best way to do that is with this red to green scanner based on watch list. So thanks a lot, everyone. and Have a great day.